Hello and welcome back and today we're continuing our look at the mobile applications that are available from Acer Store for their series of NAS Drive devices. We're utilizing the Locker Store 4 today and the application we're using is largely associated and supported by the majority of their NAS platform. So regardless of the one you're utilizing, this is an app for you. We are going to be using an Android device, the Google 2, um, uh, Pixel 2 XL and this app is available for iOS as well. Today we're looking at AI Photo 3. It's the photo application for their NAS platform. And I've got to say, it is a big old jump over the standard AI photo application that we featured in our series of videos last year. It might even be one of my favorite uh, photo applications out there. It's got a few features that I would kind of, I wish it had um, last time. And its, it's user interface is far more desirable. And there's a no, no, little few things in there. I know right now we're still waiting on Acer Store to embrace um, AI photo recognition. I know it's easier said than done. But with the exception of that, this app largely has everything you're going to need to enjoy the photos on your NAS via your mobile phone. Now, once again, a lot of you are going to interact with your NAS utilizing desktop platforms and the Acer Store Control Center app. And, of course, your mobile, uh, sorry, your desktop web browser you know your chrome your opera you know or your safari and it does support all of those but a number of you like having a photo application to go with your nas because you either want to back up photos from your phone in real time or because you want to be able to um, look at those photos on your nas on the fly share them uh, either locally with a friend, friend sat next to you or sharing them via the network or the internet now when you open up the application it will invite you to find your NAS on the local area network or if you have a cloud IP and you've set up an identity for your NAS so it can be accessed over the internet you can enter it there so again this app is completely free at the top there we've got the help section there where it will give you a breakdown on how to use the application and how the options are um, presented to you nice and straightforward options as well very very clear indeed on top of that we can go in and search the local area environment for a NAS so we can scan and we've already assigned this NAS here as you can see here on screen I've already saved it but if we were to remove that NAS application there we can go ahead and remove it and we'll delete the login information and we'll just find our NAS once again on the local area environment and as you can see, it's found the NAS there. We've got all the information still really available from earlier. So we can make our way into this NAS. And once again, we've got the admin, we've got the password. You can scroll down there. You can give it a description or a name. And of course, I've set, uh, by default, my NAS is called Locker Store 4, but you can change it if you choose. And you can just go ahead and click Log In. Now, it is advised that you set up the uh, photo gallery application from your NAS um, own interface to utilize this app to the highest extent. Otherwise, you're only really gonna be using it for file management, but we can have a look at some of the options. So at the top there, we can manage the device a little bit there with like power on, power off. Uh, we can make our way back onto the screen. The top right there allows us to change the viewing system that we've got there. So we can view by individual day or view by the month configuration. And those of you that have ever used photo applications on your Google or iOS device, will be quite familiar with this layout. It's very, very intuitive, very, very straightforward. Um, you can even straight away take photos if you choose. You can upload photos from your existing system. So as you see there, there's some photos there that are on my local device. So I can go ahead and upload a photo there directly from the system. We've got GIFs as well. Lots of stuff there in the background that have been exchanged. And you can upload those files nice and easily. You can even go ahead and take photos directly from your device and upload them automatically. But we'll leave that for later on. Now, those of you watching this have probably already noticed that we have GIFs playing here in the background. That's right. If you do have GIF or, you know, animated photos there, or sorry, GIF or GIF or GIF or whatever you want to call it, GIF, all of them are readily available there. So if we go ahead and select that one there of a GIF, this is on the NAS. We can go into the options there, we can rotate it, we can add it as a favorite photo if we choose. We go to the information section, we can find out information about the resolution, the file size, and we can add descriptions to it if we choose as well. On top of that, we can download the photo directly to our uh, localized device, and as you see there, it's now appeared. 
On top of that, we can share this file if we choose, and you can share it via a myriad of ways. You can open it as a shared link, share with another user, or use some of the applications on your host system already. And again, lots of options readily available to you there via this app. And again, if we go for a still photo instead, so let's go for a nice easy still photo. This is of a hotel nearby that had the Christmas lights up. Click the information, and as you see there, lots of lovely information about the device that took as you see there it's taken with the pixel lots of information about the flash exposure the aperture the iso the resolution of the file and even gps information all readily available to you there and again lots of those options already available there delete download uh, share and um, archive the photo as you see fit now at the bottom we can switch to albums and if we have individual albums on our system we can see them listed and you can create new albums if you choose just by selecting photos on your device so if we go for all of the photos from january click there we call this give this one a name and boom we've now got an album there based on that date and all of those files and photos now again same goes for videos and recently added photos too go back there we can look at some of those options quite easily so based on location data there you can see there that some of these albums have got photos from different regions. In this case, we've got China, Germany, Taiwan, and the UK. So if we look at the China photos when I was in Hong Kong, you can see they're based into individual regions there. So we can go to the Kowloon district, and there's lots of photos there. We can go this one, the New Territories, lots of photos there. And again, all of this is happening in real time on the NAS. All of these thumbnails are being generated lovely and quickly there, all of them near enough immediately and all of this happening on files that are on the nas not locally on my host system there you can see all of those different provinces there and different towns of taiwan all of them readily available there the same goes for germany too so the albums area is very very useful there and you can create albums very very quickly if you so choose so say for example we wanted to use that china album we look at some of the areas of hong kong we look at kowloon there we can then add all of those photos and create a brand new album for these if we so choose. Go there, create a new album. We call this one Kowloon. So we go back there. Pretty sure I've spelt that wrong. I do apologize. And there we go. We go back to the main lineup and boom, we've now got my terrible spelling of the word Kowloon, but also the album there readily available to us. And yes, I ate KFC while I was out there. What of it? Now, these are the options in the task menu where you can set up a number of features on your localized device between your mobile device and the NAS. So you can create backups of the photo albums on your phone to regularly back up the photos on your phone directly to the NAS system. And as you can see, you can pre-select individual albums. You can say whether you want it to be all the photos that are on the system or all the photos from this point forward. You can select the album on the NAS that they're going to back up to. You can select, as I say, the folder of choice. Select whether you want it to be photos only or anything in those uh, folders, such as videos or GIFs or more. Have it as Wi-Fi only, so that it will only happen when you're on a solid Wi-Fi connection and not use your data plan. And finally, if only when the phone is charging, because obviously uploading photos via the network, just like any large-scale network, um, Endeavour will eat the battery away a little bit more. So lots of options there. And of course, you can check operations there in the background if you do have pre-existing routines and live actions happening in real time. Now, the more options there allow us to just generally look at some of the photo backup options in an easier way. You can see what quality you want the photos to be as you view them, whether you want the um, application to be able to run once you close it, or if you want it to um, just cease every time you shut the app. And of course, select which source folders on the NAS you want to be able to select photos from. This is a very important detail. And it's one that differentiates a lot of NAS brands. Some NAS brands uh, only allow you to source photos from, uh, from preset photo albums that you can't control. The NAS will say that the app will only access folders that they select for photos so you'll have to make sure that those are the ones you choose 
other uh, NAS brands, and that includes Acer Store, in this instance will allow you to say that I want to be able to select files and photos from different albums. And then you can make sure that the app has access to those. And you can do that both on the NAS and via the mobile application. So lots of features there. But again, this is one of the reasons I like this application is it gives quite a lot of control to the mobile app. It does lack that AI recognition that we've seen some NAS brands absorb lately, but that's not the end of the world. And I do think it's something that Acer Star are almost certainly going to be embracing either as a separate app or within this application soon enough. Now, we're going to end here on a photo of roast potatoes because I'm only human. But as you can see, we can zoom into the photos and we're looking at medium quality, but we can preset those to something else. And we've still got that lovely real-time information there. And let's talk about how responsive this app is right now and how quickly it's loading those thumbnails there in the background. Nice and quickly, we just scroll down real fast. As you see there, lots of photos there in real time, all of which are being accessed by the NAS in real time in the background. And also, I do love that these GIFs are playing nice and easily there in the background. But let's end it there. This has been the photo recognition application AI Photo for your Acer Store NAS system. It's really, really impressive. And I'll be honest, AI Photo 3 has come forward leaps and bounds of what we've seen before. And credit to Acer Store and ADM for that. If you enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more about the Acer Store applications on these videos, because there's a few more coming out, as you can see from the apps that remain, uh, do subscribe for that and do visit the links in the description to span.com and NAS Compares to learn more about NAS and get the right NAS system and support for you. I will see you next time.